All right, hello and welcome. My name is Amir Wali. I'm also known as Special Smack Millen in the 506 Infantry Regiment Release Unit. This is a video tutorial. I'm doing a video tutorial on how to stream Arma 3 to Twitch or to YouTube uh, with, by providing the best possible setting so you can also stream Arma 3 at best quality that your computer can do so uh, the first thing I will do I will go through OBS and explain you everything in detail and what what you need to know and do's and don't so since oh basically uh, I have to say this up first this is uh, this applies only for armor 3 because Arma 3 is a basically a CPU intensive game and it's not like other the other games where you, they are like graphics card heavy and you, you could just use your CPU for recording this is a different game that's why I'm doing a video tutorial on it uh, so I will guide you through OPS then we jump into the game and show you what I'm talking about so let's go to the OBS go to the setting and first of all well you should know already that you should already know this stream key your server your nearest server and whatever and then you go to the output you go to streaming so the first thing you want to check is the output mode you put you put it on advanced you probably already know this but just I'm telling you in case you don't know so and then you choose the encoder uh, because I'm recording now, I'm not able. I'm recording using OBS. I'm not able to click this. So basically, you have H.264 encoder, which basically using your CPU, and NVENC, which is NVIDIA encoder. You got your graphic card basically. For Armor 3, if you have a like a GTX 980. 1060 and above or maybe a 970 I don't know if the 960 would do it I'm not sure but I have the 1063 gigs which is more than enough for Arma 3 uh, and I use this graphic card to stream Arma 3 both to Twitch and YouTube simultaneously so I, ch I choose the this encoder and video encoder NVENC H264 and you want to check that box in for the streaming surface encoder setting. Uh, I stream to 1080p 60fps. You see here the rescale output. Uh, I don't click it because I do 1080p 60fps. Then we move now to the other thing, the CBR, which is stands for constant bit rate. You want to choose that. Uh, I stream at six out like my internet is good enough to stream at 6,000 bitrate I can do 8,000 I can do 10,000 I can do 12,000 but I put it at 6,000 and that's what Twitch recommend for uh, 1080p 60fps so what the bitrate is it basically let lets you see like makes the game makes the the capture like the game capture how sharp it is like how sharp it look so the higher the bitrate the sharper the image will look so I will try 8000 in my next stream and see how do I get like can I get it better do I get better like image I'm not sure I don't know I've never done it I will try it in the next stream uh, like now I'm recording with 8000 bitrate so just to see if there's a different but uh, I haven't seen it yet so I don't know so just if you if your internet is uh, able to do 6000 you can go ahead and do it by the way if you don't know how to if you don't know what bitrate you need you basically can go and check your internet speed so for example for me speed test.net uh, basically click go 
and you test your internet so ah my internet is a bit weak today I should have around 120 megabit download speed 120 megabit download speed and the upload speed is to my like 12 point something yeah there you go so which means 12,000 bitrate or 12,000 kilobit so 6,000 is easy for me 8,000 10,000 it's 100 percent easy for me yeah, as you can see 120 megabit download speed 12 megabit upload speed so once you know your upload speed mine is 12,000 uh, but I don't do 12,000 so I go 6,000 which is the what Twitch recommend and yeah that's the minimum you need for sharp 1080p 60fps now this one the keyframe interval I don't know to be honest I don't know what that is uh, basically like I put it out onto that's where I've seen from the forums online videos online they always recommend two why to be honest I don't know I never looked into it I never searched it I probably should but I did not bother with it so I just like okay I put it at two and to be honest is it's good like I, I like I don't know what it does like I don't have any problem with my stream so we move on preset this is for uh, the NVIDIA encoder so you got high quality high performance blurry low latency low latency high quality after I've, I've tested all these the best one best the best one is the high quality so excuse me if your graphic card can handle it I take high quality like I said I have the 1063 gigs which is way more than enough for ARMA 3 so high quality uh, so where is that profile I don't I don't know what that is to be honest so I kept it I kept it at default level kept it at default I check uh, this box has to be checked used to pass encoding and I keep this thing as default so uh, since I'm recording now I'm using my it's like the H264 uh, X264 sorry not X, X264 encoder which is a CPU encoding I have the Ryzen 7 1700 which is an 8 core 16 thread processor and you can see I, I put uh, I have the preset at fast I do fast preset my CPU can do fast preset at every game I played so far Battlefield, Arma, Ghost Recon uh, no, sorry, not Ghost Recon. Uh, Rainbow Six Siege, uh, Counter Strike, and many other games. Fortnite, PUBG, fast preset, smooth, no problem. So I keep it at fast. I don't play with these. Like and here, keyframe interval. Like I said, I put it at two. So when you move to the video, you can see I have the base is 1080p. The output scale is 1080p, and the downscale filter I, I use uh, sharp scale 32 samples and FPS is 60 so now let's jump into an armor as we jump into the game as I like I'm um, walking around now you can see my frames my frame is below 60 and that's because I'm using the CPU to, rec uh, to record not the graphic card the, uh, the X264 you can see, uh, wait, I don't, I can't click it. Okay, you can see on the top left it says GPU. The first thing is the is temperature, the G, the graphic card temperature, which is now seventy four, uh, sorry, forty seven degrees Celsius. The next one is the most important one, which is the CPU, uh, the graphic card usage. Now we're using fifty six percent of our graphic card, which, which, which tell us. That we have plenty of room left for the graphic card to be used so since armor is a cpu intensive game you're not you're never gonna see the graphic card gonna be used packed at 100 especially when you have 64 people in the server 
you have many more objects around you, it's going to be more and more CPU. The second one is the memory. How much memory are we using? We're using 2.7 gigabyte. By the way, this is M uh, the program I'm using is MSI Afterburner, a free program you can download. Uh, I'll link in the description, no problem. The third one is the CPU temperature, which is now at 71 degrees Celsius. The third one is the CPU, uh, the fourth one, sorry, is the CPU usage. Now we're at 30%. So now it's at 70, now it's 59. This is a 8 core 16 thread processor. So should like it's more than enough for recording our streaming gameplays. So we now outside we are like on the 60, 60, 70 range. So when you're getting 40 FPS, 40 to 50 FPS. So if we jump into the helicopter in the helicopter and see what we get inside. So you see we get more frame rate now because there's not much object to render. Well, it did a job actually. Anyway, so if we would have used the graphic card to record instead of the CPU, which would be the graphic card, which would be the NV, uh, ENC, which is NVIDIA encoder, NVIDIA graphic card encoder. I don't know if you have the AMD graphic card. I don't know how to work with that, but only for NVT users, this is how it how it works. So if we would have the, uh, if I would have used use the NVIDIA encoder, I would never see the, the frame rate drop below 60 or 55. But since, and my, my CPU usage would be around 10%, 13 to 20, like 10 to 20% usage, 20 at max. That's without recording. And my graphic card will go up to 70, 70, 80 percent usage. So uh, now I'm in the cockpit. Just this is just to show. I'm not a pilot, by the way. This is just to show you what you get, what frame rates you get. Uh, so let's get out. So yeah, back to what I was saying. If I would be using the graphic card encoder the frame rate will not drop below 60. That, and that's why I use the graphic card encoder for armor because I get to play, I get to have a smooth gameplay as well as smooth streaming for the people who are watching. So, uh, this should give you an idea how to set up your stream. So let's say, Let's say, for example, you have the 1060 6 gigabyte card, or you have the 1070 or a 1080. Then there's no need, like no, no, no way in the world you would need to use the CPU encoding for armor, even if you have Intel. You don't need to, because your graphic card is much more capable to stream it. Let's say if you have the 9900K, the i9 9900K overclock to 5 gigahertz or 5.1 you can yes you can use uh, the uh, and think called Intel quick sync and you, you will get possibly a better gameplay no, no sorry not the gameplay a better stream with it because it has a higher clock speed and high instruction per clock cycle which is better than AMD so but since I don't have that I use the graphic card and let's assume you have an i5, which is four core, four threads, or i5, six core, six thread, like let's say the i5 8400, or the i5 uh, 8600K, or the i5 9600K, or, uh, yeah, 9600K. No, that's an i7. Yeah, okay, never mind. Uh, one of them is a six core, six thread. So, I recommend using your graphic card. So let's say you have an i3, i5, 8400, i5, 4400 something, then 
I highly recommend using your graphic card for encoding because you're not only going to get a smooth gameplay for yourself and also it's going to be a smooth stream. Uh, I can demonstrate that for you um, because I have to stop the recording and then go back and record again. But anyway, so as we can see, no, let's go. Let's let, let's use go to the green stuff. Let's say I come here and just stare at the at the tree. Okay, and then not actually. Okay, there you go. Well, you get the idea, I think. You see, like, now when I'm moving, it's not smooth. But if I would use the graphic card encoder, it'll be much, it'll be like a minimum at like it'll be it will feel like I have a minimum of 60 frame, and the streaming quality will be also very good. Oh, oh, it dropped to 70, 24 when I try to zoom in. So let's get back here. So yeah, uh, I hope that was a good tutorial, uh, 16 minute tutorial. Well, I tried it to make it shorter, but hey. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys learned something. And like I said, this is just for Armor 3. When I go, when I stream Battlefield, for example, when I play Battlefield Three, and I stream it, I use CPU encoder because Battlefield is more graphic card intensive than the CPU, more than a CPU. So with the with the with the CPU encoding, I get better quality in Battlefield Three and a smoother gameplay. So it, it all depends on the game. But this is particularly for Armor 3. So I hope you learned something. And yeah. Like the video. And thanks for watching. Have a good one. Bye.